Hello everyone, welcome to today's ranked episode where I will introduce you to my green white enchantment Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set deck. <laughs> yeah, that's a long name for sure. And yeah, let's take a brief look on the cards in the set deck. Basically, it's not that different from the previous one, you know, that have been played a couple months ago, only that we had to refill the remaining spots with other Neon Dynasty cards. Uh, and it's important to find also the synergy between the enchantment cards and the non-enchantment cards. The non-enchantment cards are Generous Visitor and Kami of Transcience. Also we have here Farewell, Brilliant Restoration, two sorcery spells and one instant spell, Tamiyo Safekeeping. And those two are insanely effective in this deck. Every time an enchantment enters the battlefield we can distribute a plus one plus one counter with Generous Visitor and Kami gets plus one plus one counter and it has Trample. Together with Mishiko's Reign of Truth, here we have this card, it can be a lethal combo for our opponent. And another great ability of Kami is that every time an enchantment is put into our graveyard we can bring Kami back into our hand. So we'll constantly have creatures that we can cast. And if we will struggle with lands, we have Shigeki Jukai Visionary, we reveal the top 4 cards and we can put one land into our hand that might be important to cast either Farewell or a Brilliant Restoration where we need 4 planes actually. Uh, Jukai Naturalist makes other enchantments cheaper and has lifelink. Then we have also Fang of Shigeki, stops the big creatures with Death Touch. Then we have also Spirited Companion um, that boosts the other two creatures, the non-enchantment creatures and gives us also a card. And then we have plenty enchantment sagas, Michiko's Reign of Truth. Uh, as I already mentioned, it works great with Jukai Naturalist to gain life or with Kami due to the trample ability. And the more enchantments are on the field, uh, the more powerful we can make our creatures cause for each it gets plus one plus one. Uh, then we have also Era of Enlightenment, let us cry for two, then we will get also a creature with first strike. I really like Restoration of a Ganjo, um, cause we can search for a planes and the creature architect of Restoration produces tokens whenever it attacks or blocks. Then we have also Touch the Spirit Realm, it's a great card because we can exile our opponent creature or enchantment but in case our opponent wants to kill our creature we can also use that card on our creature to exile it and bring it back. Then we have uh, Bosejo Reaches Skyward that helps us uh, to get more lands and it works similar as Mishiko but it gets for every land uh, that we control plus one plus one. Uh, Farewell is a perfect board wipe and also brilliant restoration is a fine card when we will put all the enchantments on the field from the graveyard. I especially like in this set the legendary lands and in my opinion the green-white uh, are the best ones. Boseju who end endures, we can destroy an enchantment or artifact and with a Ganjo Seat of the Empire uh, we can deal 4 damage to an attacking or blocking creature. In total we have 23 lands, 17 basic lands and now let's dive in. So here we go, what do we have here? We have two copies of Generous Visitor, perfect. Juka Naturalist also twice. Yeah, to start either with Generous Visitor or Kami of Transcience is perfect. Uh, Buseiju, untapped, and let's, uh, let's start spamming the battlefield with Generous Visitor. So oh yeah, we are playing obviously against the uh, Mono Red deck. Presumably a burn deck, so I think we will play the planes so we can cast Jukai Naturalist or Fang of Shigeki or another generous visitor, but let's go first for Jukai Naturalist. We'll put the counter on the visitor and we'll attack. And the disadvantage of those Mono red taxes, they run out of cards really quickly. But I think Mechanized Warfare, okay. Yeah, it's also recently played a lot in those mono red decks. Uh, since Kamigawa Neon Dynasty came out, there are so many enchantment sagas uh, where at the end you will get a creature, and I think it's also 
Uh, it makes a little bit better for those tags. So you can use all the uh, abilities and then you, like here, you will get the edging of Kumano. 2-2 two, two creature, every time a creature will be, will die, it will be exiled. We have also Werefell, but I don't think we have to use this in this game. Uh, for now, it looks pretty good for us. Then we can also... We have also another copy of Jack Jukai Naturalist, Generous Visitor. Yeah. And then we can also block with Fang of Shigeki. So yeah, our opponent equipped Blood First the Adversary. Mm, fall of Lord Konda, Excel target creature with mana 4 or more. Let's play the Generous Visitor again and then Naturalist. So we will distribute a few counters. Yeah, let's make Drukai Naturalist, Naturalist very big, so we'll gain a lot of life. Yeah, and gaining life is very important against those mono red decks. I think it's yeah, it's also the weakness of those decks when they are playing against, especially against Celestia deck. Yeah, we can kill both creatures. So. Ah, okay, yeah, whenever the equipped creature dies, our opponent draws a card. I like the artwork of those mountains. I don't know which set this is, actually. Okay, Lightning Strike deals 3 damage. Blood first the adversary again. Hmm, funny. The next Juka Naturalist will enter the battlefield. Yeah, Generous Visitor is such a great card. It's, it costs only one mana. You can play it uh, in turn one. And then every time you're playing casting an enchantment, it will be so big and then you have to waste some burn spells just for generous visitor okay I think it will be lightning strike yeah here it is oh he's aiming for the naturalist I thought uh, maybe he will kill the free free generous visitor We will block uh, Fang of Shigeki. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's just two damage. We have we have still twenty life. It's okay. I uh, planes. Let's attack with all the creatures. We have to be aggressive. Nah, no, GG. So we have uh, touched the spirit realm two copies, also a Ganjo Seat of Empire, so we can just use the other lands. Really cool sleeves from Transformers. You can see how they are transforming. Uh, so yeah, Fall of Lord Konda I don't think is very useful in this deck, so I, I think I will just replace it by another Enchantment Saga because exile target creature and opponent controls with mana value of 4 greater didn't happen a lot of, uh, this time so another touch the spirit realm hmm. also the other abilities of fall of lord konda are not the great yeah touch the spirit realm it has channel you have to pay 2 Exile target artifact or creature return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So, yeah, as I said, we can also use that uh, 
discard on our creatures, for example, Companion Spirited or uh, Boseiju. Um, yeah, if it's already on the battlefield, we can just protect it. We'll uh, exile this card, and at the end of the next uh, end step, it will just return to, uh, to the battlefield as an enchantment saga. So then we can also search again for two basic lands. Um, yeah. I think I will use Touch the Spirit Realm on Torrents. Because every time uh, our opponent is uh, casting a creature, I mean, when it enters the battlefield, it will produce some tokens. Yeah, so let's take this creature out of the game. And then we have also Tamiyo Safekeeping, target permanent you control, so we can also protect our touch the spirit realm. Fleetfoot Dancer. Yeah, it has many abilities. Trample, lifelink, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, in this case we could uh, use Fall of Lord Konda. Mm, what do we have here also? I mean, Juka Naturalist. Which makes all the enchantments cheaper. Adeline, nice resplendent Qatar. So yeah, this deck is also focusing on tokens. Mm. Target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each artifact and enchantment. So in total we have four on the battlefield. And we'll exile Adeline. And keep one green mana so we can also use in case there's a card where our opponent wants to destroy uh, Tamiyo Safekeeping. The Wandering Emperor. Yeah, so. I think now we can use the new si uh, safekeeping. Exile target tapped creature, you gain 2 life. And next turn we can also kill the planeswalker. Planes! Uh, okay. Let's kill the Planeswalker and end the turn. Unnatural Growth, okay. But I think that's too late now. At the beginning of each combat, or combat just double the power and toughness. Now we have also Mishiko on the battlefield. And we can use Boseiju who endures. Yeah, uh, one of the most expensive cards in the set, I think it was like over 20 euro, almost 30. And Portrait of Michiko is a great card. I mean, uh, you, ha you just have to pay 2 mana and then at the end of that you will get a creature that... Uh, that the, strength, the power is equal to the number of enchantments on the battlefield and since this deck is just full of uh, enchantments it's, it can be really f um, huge, like a 10-10 creature and yeah, it's so cheap that's what I really like about Kamigawa Neon Dynasty those enchantment sagas, they are just extremely powerful and if you when you compare it to the previous ones like Cal Time, um, Pharos Beyond Death I mean, you just had the enchantment saga, but here you have an in addition also a creature. Nice. Also, we have Busage Reach Skyward. We'll search uh, your library for up to basic forest cards. Branch of Busage, and it it's it works similar to Portrait of Mishiko, but instead of enchantments, it will get plus one plus one for each land. It's not even just basic lands, it's every land. And yeah, our opponent has some... has how many mana? 3... how much mana? 3, 5, 7, 9, 10? Am I right? Yeah, 10. And 
and touch the spirit realm you can also maybe our opponent has a, a board wipe march of otherworldly light um i think that's okay i mean we can also use touch the spirit realm but let's see what what our opponent has in his, in his hand Jinifei, Jetmer second, okay. So yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I really like the design of the Buseju on the legendary card. So we will attack with Jukai Naturalist. Down to five, and yeah, what can we do? We have also still a, Gan a Ganjo, Seat of the Empire, Boseiju, Richard Skyward, which will transform next turn. Yeah, let's attack with Jukai Naturalists. Down to one, presumably. Ah, but say Jukai endures. Okay. Yeah, we will search our library for a land card. Uh, let's choose the planes, or yeah, let's choose the planes. And then we can use a Ganjo, Seat of the Empire, to kill Jinifei. Yeah, one of the best uh, land cards in the stack. Those Boseiju and uh, Ganjo. I re uh, GG. So, starting with Generous Visitor, Juke Naturalist, and Spirited Companion. We just need the white mana. But we can also search with Shigeki, so I will keep that. Mm. Yeah, I was previously saying those Kamigawa Neon Dynasty legendary lands are very cool. Because, yeah, with Boseiju you can just destroy also uh, enchantments, artifacts, or with a Ganjo. They have uh, awesome abilities. And also, I also like those lands from D&D. From &D, uh, where, for example, I think the blue one where you can... Uh, put then a 8-8 Kraken creature with ward on the battlefield when you pay 5 mana. Also, I think white uh, gives you a dragon, um, then red produces some goblin tokens, and so on. Those are also amazing. And I really like the alternatives of those cards. They, are, they look so cool and old school from those D&D games. Oh, a Dominaria card. And yeah, finally we have Kami of Transcience. Mm. Yeah, we can also attack with Generous Visitor. Yeah, I knew it. Our opponent would block. The Intrepid Adversary. Yeah. I think two games before, prior to that, we just played against the red one, the bloodthirsty adversary, now it's the white one. Mm, we can also cast Kami or Shigeki, I think we will go for Shigeki. I think we, yeah, one white mana is required. Mm. We'll cast Kami of Transcience, so if we, it's okay if we, if this creature will die, we can just take it back from the graveyard uh, when we will lose uh, an enchantment card. Oh, perfect! Here it is, the white mana, and in addition to that, we will get also one life.
yeah, we have five. We, c we just need one more, so we can also cast Farewell. Spirited Companion. I think I will go for that card. So yeah, Shigeki is very, very helpful when you when we just want to cast Farewell or Brilliant Restoration. The restoration of a Ganjo. Yeah, I will just ignore the farewell right now. So let's let's try to win this game without using farewell. Yeah, I'm just using those cards in very very extreme situations. So, uh, Shigeki. I mean, even for 2 mana, this creature is very cheap. Because we can just also use the ability. We'll tap that and then reveal the top 4 cards. Let's see if our opponent will uh, block with the adversary. And I also really like the Spirit Companion because it replaces itself uh, when it enters, so we'll, we'll have a creature on the battlefield and we'll also draw a card. I I hate this card, Sheol Dread. I really hate this card. Ah, let's block with the Spirit Companion. Okay, how can we deal with Sheld right now? Hmm. So we'll discard the planes and then we can choose among those creatures. I think Spirited Companion is the best choice, so we can draw cards. And whenever we draw cards, we will lose two life. I mean, we can also discard one copy of Kami because we'll get this creature anyway later. Yeah, now it's a 9-9 creature, so let's see if our opponent will block. We can also play another copy of Spirited Companion. More cards incoming. So as long as Juka and Naturalist is on the battlefield, uh, we have an advantage. Due to the lifelink of this creature. Actually we can play another Mishiko's Reign of Truth and make it no even bigger. So it will be a 17-17 creature. And unfortunately it doesn't have trample like Kami of Transcience. And our opponent blocks. I think our opponent has another copy of Shieldred. That's why he blocked. So let's see if there is another copy of Shieldred. Yeah, of course, Shieldred, there are always two copies. That's um, we can also uh, put the ability of Mishiko's Reign of Truth maybe on Kami. Let's see how many enchantments do we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can put all the counters on it. 11, 18. Great. Yeah, we can attack with all the creatures right now. And... Let's see if, yeah, how much free life left. Great. I hope there is not a third one. Mm. 
we don't have to play any creatures right now. We can just wait and see what the opponent will do. Or generous visitor maybe. Uh, end of turn. Okay, the veteran. That's not a problem for us. Voice of the Blast also not. Hmm, Spirited Companion again. Yeah, we have two big creatures on the battlefield with Mishiko. So let's play first the Generous Visitor, then Kami. Then we can also cast Spirited Companion. Distribute some counters. Yeah, GG. Opponent goes first. We have three lands: Mishiko's Reign of Truth, Spirited Companion, also Naturalist. That's a that's a decent hand. And yeah, the advantage of this deck is there are so many spells that are really cheap, just for one two mana. Yeah, here we go. We have Fang of Shigeki just for one mana. We can cast it, and that's the perfect protection against the Champion of Parish. With Death Touch. Jadar. Who produces a lot of who produce every turn a zombie. Then we can um, Joke Naturalist. Yeah. No attacks. And what I especially like about Kamigavani and Dynasty, the whole set is there are so many cards with a great chemistry synergy, unlikely like unlike the the newest one, like for example Dominary United. I mean there are so many legendary creatures. I think in my opinion they are really good for commando decks, but not that much for yeah, standard. Mm. Touch the spirit realm we can use on Geralf. Uh what else? Maybe Spirit Companion. Yeah, and another land. And then we'll just exile Geralt. And attack with Jukai Naturalist, only Jadar can block. Yeah, that's the weakness of Jadar, that he only creates uh, zombies with decay. Aye, another Geralt. But we already have uh, one, two, three, four enchantments on the battlefield, so we can also uh, use Mishiko's Reign of Truth. But mm, yeah, let's cast Kami of Transcience, and then we'll give five power to Juka Naturalist. So seven, seven, then. We can also attack with Fang of Shigeki. <laughs> GG. That was fast. Opponent goes first again. Okay. Wow, this time we have Farewell and Brilliant Restoration on our hand. Let's play the Tapped Land first. Okay, somehow we have to try to survive until we can play uh, Farewell. I mean, we have already four lands, also then we can search for two basic forest lands with uh, Busage Reach Skyward. Shouldn't be that hard. Galagritas, yeah, one of my favorite cards. Jewel Thief. Yeah, both cards are from the set New Capena. Yeah, the Alliance ability is awesome. You can always decide. Whenever a creature enters the, uh, enters the battlefield, you can decide either you will create a tapped uh, treasure token or you will put a plus one plus one counter on Gala Greeters or you will gain life. Mm, we can search for a plane.
Yeah, we can survive until we will play Farewell. Kodama of the West 3. Actually, it's easy to compete against those mono green decks. They are just putting all the creatures on the battlefield and then mostly uh, you're playing those cards where you where your creature uh, fights another creature and actually that, that's basically the whole strategy behind behind those mono green decks yeah we can also cast Busejo. and before Busejo will transform We'll just use Farewell, so we'll get rid of all the creatures on the battlefield. Or maybe, I think, maybe it's not necessary to cast Farewell when we also get the creature from the restoration of a Gungeon. Also a generous visitor. <laughs> but where are the enchantments then? Yeah, that's a lot of creatures on the battlefield. I mean, with Mishukos, um, with the enchantment saga, we can just enhance Jukai's naturalist. And after that, we can also cast Farewell. Yeah, Architect of Restoration, also a great card right now, so we can produce some tokens. Uh, yeah, the problem is we have just have so many lands. We have to attack since Jukai Naturalist has lifelink and it's a 6 6 creature. Oi. Oi, 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 okay. So he will destroy it, but we'll search. Okay, I think now we have to use Farewell. Exile all the creatures, and also we can. Excel the artifact. Yeah, our Ar artifacts and creatures. Hmm. Graveyard. I think no, it's not necessary. Wow, our opponent has only one card left. Yeah, Farewell is one of the best cards also in, not only in this set, but in general. I mean, you can find Farewell in almost every white uh, commander deck. Commune with Spirits. Unnatural Grove. Let's attack with all the creatures. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, down to four, and I think that's it. Yeah, GG. Okay, our opponent goes first again, again and again. What is happening here? I think that's the third time in a row that uh, the opponent starts. Okay, anyway, we have J uh, Jukai Naturalist, also two lands. Yeah, that's that's awesome. With those legendary lands, we can always we have more opportunities, and they are entering the battlefield also untapped. 
Buseju. Let's see if we can use that. Ah, yeah, for example, we can use it on Shigeki, it's an enchantment. Oh, let's see if we are playing against the enchantment deck, red and green. I think it's possible also to make one in with Kamigawa. Okay, deals one damage to each opponent. We can kill Shigeki. Or... Yeah, let's kill the creature and then we can also play Blossoming Sands. Yeah, we can also cast actually two cards. Restoration of Eganjo maybe and Mishko's Reign of Truth. Titania, voice of gay? Gaia. Nice. Here we have the fourth land. Uh, we can cast the Buseiju. So we'll pick two basic uh, land forests. Yeah, we'll keep to Mew safekeeping to protect Jukai Naturalist. Also, we can block with this creature because it will have Hexproof and Indestructible. Sarinth Great Worm, nice. A huge creature of 7 6. Mm. Yeah, then we will cast the Mew safekeeping. And we'll so we'll also get two life. Whenever a land enters the oh ah, okay that's a that's a really amazing card. Every time we are uh, putting a land on the battlefield, it will create a treasure token. I mean we have no choice. We have to. Ah, it's the other yeah, power stone. But Fang of Shigeki can stop this creature. Then we'll power up Jukai Naturalist and attack. Let's see if he will block the Great Worm. I mean, our opponent only has three cards left, so I don't think that he needs needs more power stones. He already has a lot of mana. Devilish wallet. Mm, yeah, we'll discard the land. What do we have here? Ah, we have only we have non no permanent cards in this graveyard so doesn't matter. Let's cast another Boseiju. Here we go. And we can attack with the Naturalist. I mean, it looks good. Only one card left. I mean, what can our opponent do? Yeah, I think that's it. Alliance, awake in the woods. Oh, oh, six creatures. Okay, he will double that. Two, four, six. Ah, and okay, and it has trample. Nice, nice move. I didn't expect that. Okay. Nice. 
create x11 green land creatures and let's see what can do titania okay yeah no blocks or yeah minus 30 gg great move Opponent goes first, seriously. Okay, we have to... What can we do? Forest, Generous Visitor, Plains, Juke and Naturalist. That's the way. Or maybe we can also scribe for two. We need more lands. Catilda. Mm. I think maybe we should scry for two. Now it's important to see what cards we can draw. Yeah. Let's put it on the top. And let's attack. Yeah, sometimes Cry can can have a huge impact on the on the match. Alana and Alena. I really dislike this card. It's just too powerful. You can just every time before the combat distribute the counters. Mm, maybe on again on the generous visitor. The problem is Helena and Helena they have also a reach and uh, first strike. So we cannot kill it with Fang of Shigeki. We need the touch. Oh, Joda. The unifier. 1314. Huge creatures. I also don't think that I have ever seen Jode on the battlefield. I mean, you need five different mana. And one, one of any of these creatures' colors. Haste. Hmm. Okay, down to nine. Oh, perfect. Perfect touch the spirit realm. The question is which one we will exile. Joda. Legendary creatures you control get plus x plus x where x is the number of legendary creatures you control. Mm -hmm. I think Joda. Yeah, Joda is just a huge threat for us. And as long as there is just one creature with uh, first strike, it's okay, we can just deal with that. Kyodai, Soul of Kamigawa. Really cool deck, I haven't seen that. We can cast Kami of Transcience, then we can also use cast Fang of Shigeki. Mm, let's put Counter on Jukai Naturalist and Visitor. And then we can also 
attack I think with Jukai Naturalist and next turn we can also attack with Kami of Transcience with Trample and we have so many enchantments on the battlefield I think that's it if there is no board wipe we should win the game indestructible ah it gives indestructible okay Or we can distribute on all those creatures and we can attack. Should be enough actually. Yeah, let's attack with all the creatures. And there's, yeah, some big creatures. Kyodai could kill, yeah, Jukai Naturalist. They have to block. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, down to three. Raffine. Oh, okay, that is not enough. I think yeah, I can call GG. Yeah, here it is. So yeah, that's the white green Celestia enchantment set deck from the set. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, I mean, it's it's so fun to play with this deck. Uh, it has a great synergy. Uh, you can also do some great combos. And yeah, Juke Naturalist, for example, is also uh, an amazing card together with the non-enchantment uh, non cards in this set deck. Uh, yeah, it's really funny to play with. And if you like this format, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.